Hello, everyone. Okay, so finally, I got my hands on these Jurassic World Dino Trackers figures. Um, it's been quite a few months. Um, trying to get these because uh, a lot of the shops I've been to have pretty garbage stock. Like a lot of them. Like I keep going to the um, shops and they keep have such terrible stock. Until um, I found the Kmart and they actually had really good stock. <gasps> no way! Yes! Finally! Finally! Yes! Finally I got this. Finally. Oh. Well, four months waiting and finally got it. Okay, what else we got here? The, this one. Hmm. We got quite a few stuff here. Definitely on my list. Yes. <gasps> so, I picked up this um, Lophosaurus figure. And my dad was kind enough to get me this Chronosaurus. So, thanks dad. So, as, as we can see, um, this Chronosaurus, you can see has this incredible packaging. And you can see there's the Jurassic World logo. The whole thing about the packaging is just fantastic and there's also um there's this like switch which probably a lot of you aren't happy about including me and you can open its mouth and it like does these different rows and now when we have a look oh there you go it roared you see it has this really nice packaging design this back this is probably Mattel's one of their best packaging designs. And it's just fantastic. Just look at this. It's amazing. This whole thing. It's just incredible. I absolutely love this. Now we have this Nothosaurus. Okay, so this Nothosaurus, um, this is um, what I really wanted to get. And as you can see, it just looks awesome. Uh, since I saw the, the leak photos of this and <clears throat> just everything about it, like I instantly wanted this figure because just look how cool it is. And as you can see, there's the packaging, the back, pretty much what you expect. So let's get these open. And to get these open, we'll need Velociraptor Blue. Um, okay, maybe we should just get Velociraptor, I mean, um, Atrociraptor Pantera, maybe she might open it, because the claws are a lot sharper. Um, okay, the nail cutter. Open it, just trying to, oh hell. Right, just carefully try to open this. There, there we go. Next step, um, just trying to... And, well, almost there. Anyway, see, can we pull it out? Oh, yep. Yeah. Okay, um, this is getting a little tricky. Try to get pulled out. Alright, let's just use this and get it clipped. There we go. Look at this. Um, right. My packaging, but I'm not keeping you. Um, maybe this tail out. Yep, destroying it, the packaging. Ugh, sorry, collectors, but this is what I must do. There we go. All right, careful. This must be done. Surgery. Okay. Get it clicked in. Um, I'm trying to get it. Oh, it's gonna be hot. All right, can you click this in? Yeah. There we go. Fantastic. I'm already. 
Okay, so we have to try and deal with it. Yapping. So you can see it has all these like um these barnacles on its back and oh my god don't don't make it out raw. You can see all its details and <clears throat> the first thing that you notice is that the back key is actually painted. So Mattel somehow did a great job with this because whenever they like printed or like press paint on the back and stuff, you can see there's like not perfectly like all the paints in areas and the details but in this one it's just fantastically done now let's try this action feature that has oh um by the way um you can't forget the scan code as you can see this is the scan code scan that if you want to or you could just go to the, your local shop and just scan the toy there so this has like this weird lever thing not the greatest um that would be better if it was an actual button but oh well so we just had to just try to oh there we go this has like all these different motions or something this one here kind of weird that it makes sounds because it will make more sense for like a hissing sound but for this sort of action feed, um, action figure, it makes kind of more sense. Um, the sound choice on this, um, um, if you heard that, um, oh, let's see, could I get it? Nope, not that one. Yep, this is the one. That's literally a Triceratops roar. I actually have a Triceratops figure, it doesn't even make that sound. It's how it's they're really good at making odd choices for the sounds. So this is really awesome. This action feature is not too bad. Now let's check out its mouth. As you can see it has quite a decent details. Teeth looks um, decent. Quite well done. You can see that this um, shiny material here is actually um, printed, which looks not the greatest. And you can see on um, this nice vanilla like color. Now, let's move on to the Nothosaurus. Same thing, just get the nail cutter um, to open it. Da! Ah, finally. Oh. Yes, finally, I have finally got my hands on this Nothosaurus. Just look how fantastic this is. It's just, um, I haven't seen Jurassic World Campertasia season five yet because, well, I'm not even gonna bother watching that season, but this Nothosaurus was in that season and it just looks like, it just looks fantastic. As you can see, you can move its mouth very open wide. And you can see it has really good detail. Um, you can see it has, um, the underbelly is actually um, a separate piece. And I don't mind that. It looks kind of a little bit more toyetic. And there's a scan code. Here's just the scan code. And you can see the nice details. Um, the teeth look really great. Um, the head and the jaw is actually um this rubbery material and you can see um trying to get the camera to focus you can see the eyes are really small and it's not perfectly printed on but i can forgive mattel for that because it's, like it's tiny and you can see there is its little claws really nice detail you can also move its tail if you wish to and this is a fantastic figure Alright, so the next thing that we're going to move on to is the plastic quality. So what I noticed um, for this um, Chronosaurus figure is actually that when you feel this... Yep, 
yeah, that's super cheap plastic. Um, it's actually different from this one, this um, Nothosaurus. It sounds a bit more thicker. For this one, um, if you look closely, you can actually see that the plastic is quite thin. Um, I was just trying to show you. Oh, there. Yeah, yeah. You can see that that's really thin plastic. So I think what um, Mattel must have done is that they probably, like, they definitely use less plastic in this. So it becomes really thin and very hollow. Which, um, if a little kid play with this and throw it around and smash it into rocks or something, like, you know, it'll break instantly. So, um, I got, um, a figurine of Dennis Nedry, and he's definitely looked like the perfect meal for this Kronosaurus. Let's see what happens when you, like, try to get him inside the mouth. Yeah, okay, he doesn't really fit too well. And it's not too bad. Here's a size comparison to um, Owen Grady. Um, there. Now this is comparison to the 1993 Jurassic Park T-Rex. The Red Rex. As you can see, it's really big comparing to the small little Kronosaurus. And it looks good to me. So I hope you enjoyed this video and Make sure you just go and subscribe to something. You don't really need to, but it'll help a lot. And anyway, thanks for watching this video. And now, get out of here.